Hello everyone, so thank you for tuning in. I thought I'd share this video again, I had done one previously, but I went to do a speech on Thursday at the Cambridge Property Community, and all about when you're going to view a deal, whether it's commercial, whether it is residential HMO, what you need to be doing is taking yourself to that viewing, already knowing that you're going to be buying that deal, okay? So you've already got the, the, I say the brochure in, it's come to yourself, you've got the EPC, you've got a rough guide of the conversion cost, I can do a video on that as well, but your intention is to go to that property, whatever it may be, house to HMO, commercial to residential, already in your head <clears throat> with a good understanding of what you want to pay. In your head, you're going there to meet the owner do a handshake, get the deal done. And I'm going to talk through my spreadsheet now on exactly what I do pre doing the viewing. So let me change this screen around. So what you can see here is my spreadsheet. This purchase price here, to be fair, you can ignore that for the moment. Work through from this left hand side, work down the screen, keep coming down, down, down. Then Go over to the right and work through. Okay, so I'll work through exactly this now. So the purchase price, let's just leave that blank for the moment. If this has come from an agent, you might not need to pay a fee. If, let's just say for argument's sake it's come from a sourcer. Let's say the source is charging you £3,000 plus VAT. So they're a good source, so they turn over a good amount of money. Legal costs, a lot of these numbers, as I said in my talk, a lot of them will, once you know them, they'll stay the same. So if you know your legals are a thousand pound on a three to six bed, obviously the next one that you go and see will be a thousand pound. So once you get your spreadsheet set up, that's absolutely amazing. So let's say a thousand pound, six months bridging. This is where you know your numbers. If you're buying for cash, you can leave that in there. The stamp duty, let's leave that for a second because you're not sure what you're going to pay for it. HMO, let's just say in this case it's a, it's a three bed to a six bed HMO. Just put your HMO license fee in. I'll do a nice round number. Yours might be 800, 2000, 3000. But same again, if you're investing in one area, you know your area, you will know this number, okay? Work through. Download the EPC. If it's a commercial, download the non commercial EPC on the government website. They aren't always perfect. But it gives you a good overview because that APC, uh, it won't say 20 square meters if it's 150. It might say 140 to 150. But you are pretty close to where it needs to be. And this is the other number that you need to know in your area. So I put in here, let's just say it's 150 square meter building. If it's going to be a flip in my area, it's round about 250 a square meter. But as I've just said, it's four, <clears throat> probably it's three bed to a uh, six bed all on suite. I know in my area it's about 450. Because I know a three to six bed, not the roof, not the windows, is about 68,000 pounds. So that just shows there, that's about correct. You can. This is all just examples here of windows, external doors. You can take them out for yourself, it doesn't really matter. You can put a contingency in there. It's always good practice to do so. So if you want to, let's just put 10% in this case. But if you've already been with your builder and got us costed up, then you don't really need that in there. But you can do as a contingency. Furniture, what do you pay on furniture? Same again, these little numbers, once you've done it once, once you've done a schedule, you know they're pretty much the same. Are you investing in your area or have you got a project manager or consultant on the ground? So for myself, through my, what I do, my program, sourcing, uh, renovating, my project manager will be 12% of the build cost. So let's keep this clean and easy. I'll take the miscellaneous out so you can see exactly 12% is there, okay? Let's work through. Same again, change all these numbers here in your area. If you're doing single, let's just put... Uh, studios, one beds, two beds, three beds, four beds, whatever it may be. If you're doing HMOs, put like the minimum, the average, etc. So 
let's say in this one we're having, let's say, four en suites. We're having uh, two sharing, one bathroom. Okay, let's just make something up. This will add all your numbers up for you. You've got your contingency, you'll add that in your voyage rate, 5%. Ignore that at the moment. That's if you're going to get a mortgage, but ignore that. Insert all your bills. Same again. If it's a single let, you, you won't have hot, well, nowhere near all these bills. So it might just be this section. But stick them all in. £95, no service charge. Heating, I'll do nice round numbers. Electric, £50. Water, 45 Oh, not 450 Let's get back. 45 Broadband, not say 45 with Virgin. TV license, I'll put £13. Pat testing, always puts uh, a normal cost in. Fire regs, I put about £20 in. You're going to get service every year, there will be a cost, so you might as well put that out. Insurance, same again, put your numbers in. Are you putting any building maintenance fund? If it's 5%, it's going to be the same as this. Any cleaning, it's £18, including VAT where I live. So £18 for one hour. If you're going to be doing that, over a month, £78 a month. What is your money? So literally, all these fees, if you know it's HMO, if your agent charges you 14 that'll stay the same. If it's the same kind of HMO, that clean will be the same. If it's the same HMO, the same area, then bills will possibly be the same. So get your spreadsheet set up. So okay, as I said, you've gone down your left, you're going over to the right hand side now, GDV. This is where you need to speak to other people. You need to talk to the valuers, talk to any architects, because they might be training to be a rick surveyor. Get your numbers in there, okay? So the last one that I did came in at 225. These are the biggest numbers that are going to be changing your return on investment. Okay, so put in your loan to value that you want to take as part of your risk profile. Do you want 60, 70, 75, 80 on a hybrid? But just make sure that, that you can get the 80 and make sure that's okay with your risk profile. But most people do go 75%. A commercial kind of rate is 4.5. Last one we did, the client got 3.97, I think it was. So straight away, just check these two numbers because they will change everything for yourself and you can see it shows zero at the moment but don't forget your purchase price has not been installed yet so let's say in stoke uh, it was on the market for 100 100,000 okay so that's in there it's automatically doing a stamp duty just check that stamp duty make sure it's correct that's 40 percent okay so is that a good deal yeah that's an absolutely amazing deal you know it's on for 100, it's going to be in a hot area, it's going to be a lot of competition. What do you want to pay? Just type in 120. It's still 22%. That's not bad. So if you are looking for 20%, you can keep changing this. Okay, so you can go up to 125. So already, you know it's on for 100,000. You know, as long as you want 20%, that you can go in at one, two, five. So what you're doing now is, yes, I'm very interested. It works on my numbers. I'm going to do the viewing. I'm going to take the builder with me straight away if possible. Don't waste their time. Don't get taking a builder around every single project because they'll get a bit peed off. But if you take them to more than one, just buy them a drink, give them 50 pound, give them an incentive or even a thank you their time is money, just like you want to return on your investment. They need to see a return on their time invested in yourself, especially if it's not the first one. If you've done three, four, five, if you're constantly feeding them work, you'll find the builder will want to come and have a look anyway. But on the first one, take the builder you've already got in your head that you're going to buy this deal. You're intending to go to the property and meet the owner of this property. Okay, so this is where you're at, so you know it's on for one to 100. That is your contingency, £25,000. More than likely, if you put an offer in, 110, if there's a lot of competition on sealed bids, there's a really good chance that you will buy this. Okay, so 
this can be done on anything single lets, HMOs, commercial. It's all about part of my talk I did today was understanding your numbers even before you go and do the viewing. Get that offer, in this case 110, in your head when you go and do the viewing. Don't waste your time like everybody else does, and this is why we win a lot of deals. A lot of people, I'll give you the average scenario, they've got an email from the agent, yeah, can I get a viewing please? They've gone to do the viewing, might have met the owner, had a good chat, gone back home, tried to stack their numbers, spoke to the builder, the builder wants to go and view it, they booked a second viewing, gone to do the viewing, the owner's getting a bit peed off now, he's had 25 people through the door. By this time, I might have been on that same first viewing with yourself. All I've done is gone there, met the owner, exactly like you have, with me builder, and said, okay, I, I will buy this deal from you. What do you need? Well, we need 100,000. Straight away, I'm in there going, right, mate, I'm happy. Works with my numbers. Shall we shake on this? I will offer you 100 right now. If he wants 100, I've offered him 100. And I show him a strong commitment. What is the chance that you're going to even get chance to walk back home to stack your numbers? So just remember, on any deal, that's what you need to do. Okay. Let me turn it back around. So yeah, so I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, any queries, do comment below. I really do want to do more videos and more helping on this. I will put a link to my spreadsheet below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'll be doing a lot more of these. I want to help. Any questions, any queries. If you're an investor and want more information, do comment. Thank you for tuning in. Speak to you soon.